extra Christmassy. I forgot about all the garland and everything and the little trees. There's little trees and there's big centers and there's big centers. <laughs> there is. You're right here! Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. You need a vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. And our friends are running away, but we got Mark and Brooke. We're about to eat our weights and food so at good old Whispering Canyon Cafe. This is one of our favorite dishes. Wait, I'm about to show something. But more importantly, did we, did we get a text message of the food? I thought we had a text message that food was ready. Mark and I are, are talking about all the great merchandise of DVC and other qualities. And we pointed out that 2020 merchandise is out. Because I like that dark gray better. I like that. So there's the 19. And here's all the 20. I think the lens is filthy. Hold on. All right, yeah, so my lens was really filthy because all the little kids yesterday. But here's the 2020 lineup, at least the beginning of it. Some ornaments. I kind of like it. It's very so. I think these are really cute. I feel like they're going to be really great. But they'd be even more great, I think, if they didn't have the 2020 on it. But you guys know I'm not a fan of ears on it. But these are like a different structure, I think, of the ears. Oh. Just to accentuate the ridiculousness that is Wilderness Lodge's Christmas de decorating, like, why do they have this? It's just like a cotton Christmas unicorn horn. But they are blowing away the Christmas decorating this year. Better than any resort. Are you happy? I just really wish I could have some chicken nuggets and tater tots all for dinner to bring me back to my nights working overnight with Brooke at the hotel. <laughs> that's that's what we know, Brooke. I don't think it's not. We've explained it many times before, but not this one. Oh, okay. Me and Brooke were shackled together in, in <laughs> servitude to the JW Marriott from the hours of 11. And Peter yeah. bullied her into DVC. 10 oh yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely accurate. We, we, we realized, we said, yeah, you are here. We said, what did we, we determined this a couple years ago that you guys would have bought in DVC eventually regardless of ever knowing us. Yes. But, but, but. but he expedited. So I had to be really reserved when I first bought it because like, I would probably have gone full out, but Mark had never been to Disney anything before. Um, and you were a DVC member before you were. Yeah. DVC oh, yeah. over his DVC. Oh, over my DVC. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had to have the discuss. We had the discussion about like what's too much. Yes. How much do we want? And, and again, we never too we much. We weren't married. No. We, we really like we talked about is this going to be something I'm going to want? Is this something you're going to so want? So now we're looking like, at reflections. Yeah. So are we. Yeah. yeah. So at some point, so reflections is going to be in the future. So <laughs> we're going to have the same home. <laughs> we're getting crazy. What do you think? Sarah convinced me to get the maple 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 chipotle BBQ brace, jackfruit dip, jackfruit dip, jackfruit dip, pepper jack cheese, jalapeno, tortilla chips. Yeah, I just have never seen like a dip like that at Disney. Are you getting a skillet? Yes, I am. Are you getting a skillet? Heck yeah. Are you getting a skillet? He is. He is. I am getting a skillet. We're all getting skillets. We got our drinks. I got from Arnold Palmer. That's when you know I'm on vacation mode. And what did you get for them? I got a bourbon sweet tea. Okay. And Mark got a bourbon cowboy? <laughs> this is a bourbon cowboy. Ooh, and it's got a kick to it. <laughs> it has a bit of a kick, yes. And I hope. Simple. <laughs> we got the plant-based jackfruit dip. It's got jalapenos and cheese. I mean, we're about to eat unlimited food, but we needed an appetizer. <laughs> Well, that was amazing. I feel like it was better than the last one. The sausage was great. Yeah. yeah, the sausage we, was really good. And we got coleslaw. Which we did not get last time. And we, we did got this how long ago? ago? Like a year ago. A year ago. Well, what we did, we were meat eaters a year ago. We were here. When did we go to the glass piece? Glass piece. Put summer. a comment down below. I think it was when summer. But it looks real really good. I love convincing people to get the vegan sausage. Did you try it yet? No, I'm going. I was waiting for the camera. Okay. Live reaction. <laughs> He's a he's a big meat eater. Loves a good steak, a little flamin' That's a really little... good sausage. Like that's just good sausage. Right. Mm -hmm. Because sausage is like a fake meat to begin with. It's just I, a true. bunch of different things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's all sausage is all about the spices and the herbs. 
They're vegan. I don't yeah, even know I'm who not, makes it. I'm not thinking about it being this is Right, if I didn't tell you, you may not realize I it. wouldn't have noticed yet. Yeah. But the beef, I think you could. I yeah. hate sausage. This is really good. Yeah. You were you were a team player. I just was like, hey Brooke, take the sausage. For someone who hates sausage. Yeah. And we had to get more cornbread because my body is made up of 30% cornbread. What's going on? I'm about to have some horse races. Wait a minute, we left dinner by the way. We were gonna go see the train room decorations, but I think we found our milk and cookie plate. Yeah. This with the, the mug? I don't see the mug out. The mug was out there. But I'll show the mug. Seriously. There's the plate. There's the mug. We need one and one. But like Sarah pointed out, it's nice because it's Mickey and Minnie Christmas Disney season, but it's also behind like, it's like a town. Not Disney, not Main Street, just like an average Christmas celebrating town. Look at this window display. This is everything I want in my life, right here. Just put Sarah over there, put my little embryo ice cubes over there, and we're good. Going to the train room. Christmas music, Christmas cheer. Santa Claus getting ready right over there. Old man with the red sweatshirt. Christmas cheer, Christmas cheer. Mark told me. That's why I wanted to go here so bad. <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful tree. Oh, and they didn't even t tuck away the birdhouse; they just shoved it to the side. Yep. Look is at that this. Normal? Yeah. Oh, and the garland goes all the way up. This is the most magical day of my life. Every single, every single yeah. has an animal. Oh. A snake and, an animal. and all of the like all the panels here have like different. <gasps> Oh, I never put that together. They're staying here right now because they're super cool. And I didn't notice right here, Mr. Bruce. And even the train room is all dialed up. So many little nooks and crannies. Look at that little bear. I gotta give that bear a hug. Aww. Aww. Don't tell, don't tell Eve. <laughs> oh, there's little cardinals. Oh, that's the cutest Sweet. Yeah, there needs to be a hedgehog here. I'm gonna put. Um, root beer's Instagram tag oh, below. They I have a hedgehog. <laughs> go and follow you know, their hedgehog you know, on Instagram. Finally, yeah, go follow at root beer the hedgehog <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, right. call to action. Call to action. Do it. If you like us at all, follow this hedgehog <laughs> on Instagram. So, root beer the hedgehog does not have opposable thumbs, which means that he does need my help, and I am sometimes a busy lady. <laughs> and Eve's, Eve's Instagram has like three photos in it, so no. yours is much there are better. A lot. I try. We post by once a week. But, yeah. Um, he t has to tell me what captions to put. Yeah, it's so a process. It is a huge process. He's, he's also he's very indecisive. Busy. <laughs> he's also a very busy hedgehog. So, yeah. I mean, Can just we get a our times. Oh, oh, spooky! <laughs> so My voice I, is crazy. Did we explain fully? I used to work with Brooke at the front desk at the JW Marriott Chicago. She was my best friend at work, um, part of one of my few different iterations of, of overnight working families. Me and Brooke probably the person, one of three people that I worked with the most. Ever. In oh ever in a, in our overnight shift like yeah. cons consistent I think there was probably a fifteen to sixteen month period of my life where I saw Brooke easily t um, uh, seven times more than Sarah yeah. and I lived with Sarah at the time right. it was before yeah. we were married but it's because me and Brooke worked forty plus hours a week together on overnight shift at a hotel so you think. 37, 36 of those hours, you're like with that a person, yeah. just like staying awake, getting the work done. Um, so she's like family, yeah. and yeah. her husband Mark is amazing too. Yeah. It's been so great getting closer to them over the years right. now that and we're all getting able old. To see them when they come to Disney. And but that's not even why I wanted to pull the camera out. What? I wanted to show you, we can't show you the lights that are, there's a million lights going off in Magic Kingdom. Brooke found out 
that the Magic Kingdom was closing early today because it's cast member appreciation night. So it's a giant party. special party for yeah. cast members only. And well, it's cast members who have like hit a certain milestone in there. Which is the coolest mm -hmm. thing that Disney does. Like yeah. I've never gotten to do one. I don't even know if we've, I don't think we know anybody who's gotten to, milestones start at five years. So it's five, 10, 15. Well, Mr. Shingle. But we haven't been like, hey, Mr. Shingle, tell us about one of your, th like, it's not like Josh has gotten his five year. Right. It's not like Dustin's at five years gone. Right. Katie, Eddie, like, none of them hit five years. Well, I know that Lauren got to go to a celebration at Disneyland because she was in the last scene of Soarin'. Mm -hmm. like, when you fly, those are windshield wipers. When you fly through Disneyland, there was like a holiday celebration going on. For I the think that one still plays in California, right? Yeah, she's right by the dancing snowflakes. Yeah, at the end of Soren, when you go over Main Street. Because her dad's a cast member. That's how she got to go. Now we have to go into my puppy. Because <laughs> I love her. And you haven't seen her since early twirling. Evie, come here. Come here. Where's Peter? She cannot wait for Peter to get out of the bathroom. I would say 75% of the time you're in the bathroom, you will see little paws and a little nose under the door. We're watching the old Mickey Mouse Club on Disney Plus. We're very tired. It's finally just all catching up to us. What time is it, Peter? Oh, it's, I thought it was earlier because I was like, we're going to bed early tonight. But I guess it's been much earlier than I have been going to sleep. So yeah, we decided we were going to go to bed and then I saw Mickey Mouse Club. So I just played this first episode. They were killing it with the tap dancing. But there is serious lack of diversity on this show. Today's the second by our boy, Eleanor Roosevelt. He says, to handle yourself... Boy, that is a woman. What? Eleanor. <laughs> December 2nd, our girl, <laughs> Eleanor Roosevelt, she's throwing some knowledge at us and she's saying, to handle yourself, use your head. To handle others, use your heart. Do you agree, disagree, or are you uncertain, Eve? You buy the most beautiful thing in the whole galaxy. More beautiful than Star Lord himself. Here at the Brookhart Project, we have one thing to say to you. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Get her, Eve. Get her. No, get her. Give us their kisses. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>